Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the Am I Good Enough game. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I just got another job offer for with a higher salary. During my second interview I got more information about the company and it seems to me like you have one or maybe two devs who are working in one big project. This makes me kind of nervous because I don't know if I can pull my own weight in a large scale project. They saw my project and other websites that I have built and we talked about things that I'm learning outside of work like TypeScript, clean code and test driven development. What are your thoughts about my situation? Do you think that I'm more experienced? Do, do you think that they think that I am more experienced than I am? By the way, I didn't lie about my experience. I was upfront and honest about my passion and willingness to grow as a developer. Dude, why do like why aren't you like coming like sending me an email or just like yeah, I can probably get you a job like because you you're basically saying all the right things. Had you come to me with this sort of like if I could you could communicate what you just communicated to me and assuming of course you pass all the tests and stuff like that I would hire you and my manager would hire you and my coworkers who do the other parts of the hiring process they would also hire you. Uh, so the thing that I'm trying to tell you here, my friend, is that don't don't play this game with yourself and I know that's easy for me to say and I'm only really saying it while at the in the back of my head thinking that god damn I remember how this felt and I still I can still fall into this trap sometimes myself and that is to play that um, the to play the am I good enough game and you don't want to play this game my friend because you always lose you can never win it because either you feel bad because you think you're shit or you overestimate yourself and you become an arrogant prick and you make a fool out of yourself when especially when you talk as if you're like this super genius software developer with more arrogance than I've ever seen in anybody and then I look at your code and you can basically not produce anything above a hello world application I have never understood how we get to that point but some people get to that point so it's a game that cannot be won and what I would like to I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on what I think that you should do here and you can take it with a pinch of salt and so forth this is just something that I think is it, it has been very helpful to me at the very least let's call it that so what matters is that based on your current skills they have decided these people that you're hiring and getting hired to, to work with they have decided to give you a chance that's all they're, they that's all they have said they will give you a chance and now all, the only thing that matters is do you want that chance you have no idea what they're thinking you have no idea why they're hiring you you have no idea of any of that stuff you don't know what their expectations are all you know is that they want to give you a shot and i know that deep down if you're a little bit of a people pleaser and a little bit uncertain and so forth that's the whole thing about being a junior and in many cases more than a junior like it's a personality trait you want a more profound sensation of that they want you for something more meaningful or that they, you, you want to give emphasis to something to a point where it feels as if it's a special thing and sure it might be special but for the most part all you're getting is a sh shot you have given them a good impression and based on what I heard you say or like I saw you right here you gave me the same thing I might change my mind in the future and it might not have been a good gut feeling and my expectations may change like there's a million things that could go wrong but there's also a million things that couldn't go right so what I like to do is that I always think think in these terms if everything works out for me with this decision I'm about to make like this chance that I've been given will I grow from it and if the answer is yes I will probably grow as a person or I will involve my career or something like that then I just go with my gut what does my gut tell me does this feel right yes or no it's scary and it's always scary but that's that's part of it uh, so is this gonna make me better is it is it uh, because uh, if that is my sensation then go for it and so far, uh, this is just me of course, this strategy has taken me from being 
probably one of the weakest coders in my class uh, when I was taking the online course CS50 thing way back when with the C++ programming. I still uh, I still owe Curious Kiwi uh, m practically my entire career. That woman uh, who I've never met but who, who had the ability to explain to my dumbass how to just get a loop working in C, she saved me. She basically did. And I barely passed my first coding test. Like, barely. That's where I started. And this approach I've taken me today, I, well, at my current job, I'm a tech lead. So now I, unfortunately, I'm very sorry for all my, all the, my team members uh, that you have to answer to me or like that you have to work with me, under me, whatever you want to call it. Well, we're just, you know, I don't like to think in those terms like I'm just some dude who, who can give you some thought and you're, you're the talents. But that's where I am today, based on this exact approach. And the thing that I like to say is that you should always trust your gut and accept that the fear and uncertainty, that's the cost that you pay for trying to become more than you are. So, what I want you to take away from this is that don't play the am I good enough game. If someone offers you a position or a, a opportunity or something like that, always, always just think in these terms. Hmm. Will this make me better if I try, if, if everything goes sort of okay? And then just listen to your gut because you don't know why they're giving you this shot. You have no way of knowing. It could be everything from that they liked your smile to that you're actually a lot better than you actually think that you are. But it's not healthy for you to try to figure out which one it is. Just go with it and see what it, you know. Ask yourself, is, this gonna be, there's gonna, is there gonna be something in it for me? And then make that the whole thing. And then keep on doing that and accept that things are scary. Whenever you do something new, it's going to be scary. And the path to becoming a better version of the person that you are, it's very simple. You just have to push through the fear. Have a great day.